We say the Corvette is a dream car for people, and so what we want to do is expand that dream. It's more than just a car. It's more than just a sports car. It is, it is an emotion, it is a passion, it is a vehicle that is larger than life. It's just an awesome car. Interior and exterior, it's fast, it's comfortable, it's easy to drive. One of the things we really wanted to do with the Corvette is upgrade every aspect of the car in terms of the visual displays in the car, the use of materials, the, the kind of structure, the technology and the tires and suspension and everything. We looked everywhere in the car to see what was the latest and greatest, most advanced technology we could use. Things like active handling, stability control, and performance traction management. Things like that can actually make a very experienced driver do even better on the track, actually improve their lap times. So uh, the technology is there for you to use or there to turn off if you don't want to. People when they go for their first drive in the new Corvette are going to notice everything's different. The body structure is almost 60% stiffer than the car we sell today. That makes the car feel really planted to the road, extremely solid, extremely secure. We're actually able to take 99 pounds out of the body structure, 45 kilograms. We've used state-of-the-art aluminum construction in the entire frame and, and much of the chassis. We always use the right material. We'll invent a material if we have to. It's always about lightweight material. For this first time, we're bringing carbon fiber all the way down to the entry-level vehicle. We use it on the hood and the roof because we want to take weight off the front and off high panels in the vehicle to drive the center of gravity down. The breakthrough on this car is really around the engine. For the first time ever, we've incorporated direct injection, cylinder deactivation, variable valve timing, and those, all those three things do a lot independently to improve power, torque, and efficiency. But together, they work synergistically. The fundamental greatness of the small block V8, its compact size, high output, very low mass, is a huge enabler for the sports car. 450 horsepower, 450 foot-pounds of torque, which are our targets, and I think you'll see when the, the final numbers are in for the car's fuel economy, it will be unparalleled in the segments that it competes in. Our active rev matching actually is one of the most transforming changes we've made in the driving experience. The soon as you start to move the shifter towards another gear, the vehicle recognizes that and quickly blips the throttle to get to the engine at speed it needs to be at. If you change your mind and move to another gear, it senses that immediately and will quickly move the engine to that speed. So you have a very seamless and transparent downshift. It's a very unique feature. It's fun to drive and it'll make even a novice drive like a pro. Cars are becoming enormously complicated. One of the things we try to do is simplify that whole matrix of uh, technologies and have the car easily customizable to any particular situation or driver want. So one of the things we've done is integrate all of those different features into a single function. It's a driver mode select, which affects 12 different attributes of the car. Some of those are, for example, the magnetic selective ride control, the exhaust sound, the transmission shift, shift pattern, the electronic throttle control, and we have five modes going from most conservative to most aggressive. So as you uh, change that drive mode, not only is it changing suspension settings and chassis settings, but you can actually see the transformation in the cluster as well. If you love driving, the Corvette is really the car that will make you take you to that next skill level. We've actually improved the steering stiffness, so the whole system from the tips of your fingers on the steering wheel through the column, the steering gear, the, the chassis, out to the tires, we've actually increased the system stiffness five times. So 500% stiffer. When you design cars that are as capable as Corvette, aerodynamics is not an option. Two of the big things that we learned from the racing program and put on the production car were the functional hood vent and the quarter inlets for differential and transmission cooling. Well, you see a forward tilted radiator with a functional outlet in the hood. That's to route all of the hot air that goes through the radiator over the top of the car instead of underneath the car. Virtually every race car uses a solution. Virtually no street cars do. Every detail, every element of the exterior shape was influenced by the internal function, be it cooling or aerodynamic flow or even downforce for stability. 
A new Corvette has to look like a Corvette. That's, that's the, the most important key. But within that proportional envelope, we really wanted to make some game-changing moves on the car. The new design, in some ways, is a far more international design. It's, a, in many ways, a very exotic design, true to Corvette roots, but it's like it is, is grown up in, in many ways, in a very positive way. The stance is now wider. The roof is lower, uh, but without taking any interior space away. The wheelbase is a little bit longer. We've just kind of taken what is Corvette and made it longer, lower, wider. With the taut, stretched muscles that it has, and it's very international flair that it has, and at the core, it is obviously Corvette. From end to end, you know what it is when you see it. It's exciting to drive, and it's exciting to look at, and I think what we've done is we've taken some of that excitement and put that into the interior of the car. Well, ultimately for a sports car like the Corvette, it's all about the driving experience. You're one with the vehicle. Everything feels instantaneously responsive and very connected. There are two seats available on the new Corvette. One is called a GT seat. It's a all-around sports car seat, so uh, it's great for back road driving or for long distances. And then we have for people that are more focused on track driving, we have the competition sports seat, which has extra, extra support for lateral acceleration and really worthy of the type of performance you can get with this, this car. I think every customer that sees this vehicle for the first time, the interior is going to be awestruck. All of the materials are very high-end, very refined, and very authentic. So there is genuine carbon fiber, genuine aluminum, um, cut and sew, leather wrapped trim that really gives this feeling of craftsmanship to the interior. We did this design and at first everybody was so afraid when they saw it, they didn't know how we were going to be able to manufacture it, they didn't know how we were going to engineer it. And we had to do some significant innovation in how we assemble the parts and how we adjust them at the assembly plant to get that perfect fit on every vehicle. And when you get inside, it is spectacular. And the people see it on the street and they say, wow, look at that, I, I really want to have that. This Corvette, more than any other Corvette in the history of the brand, is the best of everything. It's a whole multitude of things and every single one of them is better about the car. Drives better, rides better, has better structure, better fuel economy, um, better appearance. From exterior design, interior design, quality, the performance of the vehicle, the handling of the vehicle, the braking of the vehicle, the aerodynamics, the, the sum of all this is spectacular. I love it. I, I, the, wow, this car is cool.
Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. This is the new Corvettes. Well, tonight is, of course, another night in the incredible journey of the American sports car called Corvette. Tonight, we celebrate the introduction of the seventh generation, or C7, as we call it, right here in the Motor City. For 60 years, Corvette has represented the state of the art in performance cars. To put it simply, this car is the reason I work at General Motors. As a young boy, I spent many car trips hunched in the back of the mid-60s car, riding with my dad. On many Saturdays, my dad took me to work in the Chevrolet Engineering Building. And on the way home, I made him promise to take me by the research lab where they had the Firebird and the newest Corvette. I, like many of my coworkers, want to work for the company that makes Corvette. Its presence, its performance, its history and heritage Everything it stands for has always raised the hair on the back of my neck. And I know that I am not the only one in this room who feels that way. Since 1953, through the good times and through the bad times for this company, there was always Corvette demonstrating what it means to win, to be the best. And now, as we continue to bolster Chevrolet's best lineup ever, here comes the best Corvette ever. This car is all new from the ground up, and it is absolutely the best performance car that we know how to engineer and build. I will eagerly put this car up against any of the top performance cars in the world. In terms of design, technology, and performance, this car is second to none. And it is obtainable. It is so dramatic and special that we thought it deserved some extra recognition. That's why we're calling it, once again, the Corvette Stingray. First used on the 1959 Stingray Racer, then in 63 on what may be the most memorable series of models in its history, this is the name we only use to mark special generations of Corvettes. And C7 is indeed that special. Right now, I'd like to ask two individuals responsible for this transformation to join me here on stage. Please welcome GM's Vice President of Global Design, Mr. Ed Welburn. And the Executive Chief Engineer for Corvette, Mr. Chad Jechter. Well, thank, thanks, Mark, and good evening, everyone. It would be an understatement to say that this is a special night. Not only are we introducing this amazing car, we are giving it a name that is synonymous with emotional design and incredible performance. Stingray. Now I'd like to turn it over to Taj. <laughs> thanks, Ed, and thanks, thanks for your support throughout the development of this, this car. The, throughout the design process, Ed and his team have been focused on creating a world-beating design. You can see it's simply gorgeous. But the truth is it contributes enormously to making this the most capable standard Corvette we have ever built. We've already announced the car is going to go 0 to 60 in under 4 seconds. This car has astounding brakes. It corners at over 1 G. But because of the design and the aerodynamics and the way this car works dynamically, this car, even in our early testing, is already faster on a track than today's performance model, the Grand Sport. But this car is not just about the numbers, it's about the way it drives. We've transformed the driving experience in every way. And the first time you get to behind the wheel, you're going to know Corvettes have changed forever. The design, the driving experience, everything about this car truly lives up to the name Stingray. Mark? Thank you, Ted. Great descriptions, guys. You guys really transformed the car and your teams. Congratulations. The three of us could talk. Yeah. The three of us could talk about this car all night, and in fact, on many occasions we have, we're that passionate about it. Uh, but you know, I'm as passionate about the people who worked on Corvette as I am about the car itself. That includes Taj and Ed, Mary Barra, who's here tonight, Dave Tatman, who's the plant manager at Bowling Green, 
and all the people from design, engineering, and manufacturing who have poured their heart and soul during a very tough time in the company into this car to produce what you see here today. It punctuates who we are. The soul of our company is indeed sitting right here in Corvette. A few weeks ago, we traveled to Bowling Green and drove the first cars made in the plant. The car is spectacular. We drove it in pouring rain. And the driver, we got to test all of the drive modes, I can tell you that right now, and the calibration is coming together very, very nicely. The people working on it are so proud to produce the great American sports car down there. They brought it to life. Their commitment made this Corvette worthy of the Stingray name once again. And many of them are here tonight. I'd like you to talk to them and hear their stories about the development and manufacturing of this car. Thank you.